the Howard Dills Farm. Home of the Atlantic Giant Pumpkin. This is like, this is where it all started with these gigantic pumpkins. The Howard Dill was known for creating these uh, massive pumpkins and uh, then he became famous for basically breeding them larger and larger. Now he sells these seeds all around the world and people have taken these seeds and then made even bigger pumpkins. But this is where, really where it started and it's the funny thing about this little farm it's uh, almost more famous for one thing and that is that this is where it all started. They call it the cradle of hockey. This is where it all started. This is where the game started. Um, I believe the first basic rules were laid down. And uh, let's go have a look. So you have to drive through the farm here. And uh, you kind of just go right through their property. summertime this is all pumpkins they grow a ton of pumpkins in here and uh, beautiful pumpkins as well so here's the little gateway they've got you got a couple little little goalies there a Boston guy must be Bobby Orr um, they've got these little signs as you come through did you know Long Pond is the oldest documented site of hockey. First played in Canada in 1800. <clears throat> the boys from King's College School founded in 1788. King's College is right there overlooking it. King's Edge Hill. Uh, it says the boys from King's College School founded in 1788 were playing Hurley on the Long Pond and Ball or the Ice between 1800 and 1836. So it must have been the young boys that went to the college there that uh, pretty much came up with the game. Uh, here's another one. King's College student John Kennard, brother of Sir Samuel Steamship fame, had his front teeth knocked out with a hurley on Long Pond in 1816. And you know what, there's a whole bunch of these. I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but it's pretty interesting facts. But they've got a whole a whole row of them here. <clears throat> and uh, the pond's just over the hill. It's awful greasy. It looks like there hasn't been anybody back here for a little while. I see a bunch of footprints. Maybe there's somebody back here that might have walked back. We'll have to come here in the summertime and show you how beautiful it is. Um, it's a beautiful farm. Just the way they've got it laid out and everything is really nice. So there it is. The... I wanted to say the the Holy Grail of hockey. Well, the, I guess that would be the Stanley Cup would be the Holy Grail. But this would be the, well, that's what they call it, the cradle of hockey because this is where it was born. So just over here on the left there's nobody here it's just up here in the woods and it's just the tiniest humble little pond there you go welcome cradle of hockey long pond 1800 the dill farm Windsor Nova Scotia parking spot and some benches and stuff be a real nice spot for a picnic let's go have a look at the pond it looks pretty bad as far as uh, conditions go so here we go I'm setting foot on it right this is where it all happened good conditions for skate right now. It's all slushy. It's a pretty neat spot. It's actually quite 
quite nice here. <laughs> Beautiful little spot. I don't know how safe the ice is, but I'm guessing it's probably pretty big. Um, caretaker here uh, said that they flood this all the time, so when it's deep cold, they flood it, so the ice is probably pretty damn thick. And, uh, no, it's just quite nice. It's just a, it's a beautiful little spot. Huh. Funny thing is, it's almost, it's a little bit bigger than a rink, but about the size of a rink. <laughs> so it's perfect. It's probably about 80 feet across by about 200 feet long. So, pretty neat. Neat that I finally got here. I've been living here almost three years, 15 minutes down the road, and I never come here. So, that's it. That's where it all happened. That's where it all started, right on this ice. Maybe not this ice exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's been new ice since then. I was going to buy a whole pair of skates today and skate on the pond, but uh, the guy where I was going to buy them was closed, so that didn't happen. Come skating here maybe next weekend. Did you know sometime back in 1904 Windsor had a very tricky player, Frank Sankey Brown. He used to nail a puck to his stick so no one could take it away from him. Dirty bastard. The other thing about Sankey he was cross-eyed. Gave the opposition fits because they never knew which way he was going. Did you know that hockey was the first pro sport to introduce numbers on the back of players' jerseys?